Hey guys, it is uh, Saturday. It is the day of the 24 hour romance readathon that Riley from Riley Marie and Laney from Ginger Laney Reads are hosting. And so we have 24 hours to read as much romance books as we can. So I have a couple books on my TBR. It is the first day of college football, so I have stuff to do. I'm going over to my parents' house. I'm watching the game with them because I always do that. And it's already 9 o'clock, so I've only read a little bit of The Guy on the Right by Kate Stewart. I got that from Kindle Unlimited um, because I've heard really good things about it. And I just wanted a really cute, fun romance because I started two other KU books and I was just not feeling either of them. So one was Teardrop Shot by Tijin and then the Emily Goodwin Vampire Romance. Those two I just like was like what the heck is going on and I could not get into them. So and I was at the gym when I was reading them so I was just like no. So I decided to download The Guy on the Right and it's so good so far. I'm almost 20% in so I want to read more of that and then I have two books I want to read and then I also have an audiobook I'm currently listening to so I really want to read Dare to Surrender by Carly Phillips. Both of these are super short that's why I picked them for today. This one a girl is cheated on and so she takes off with a rented Mercedes but then she's pulled over for Grand Theft Auto so she puts in jail and then this guy bails her out and she's super attracted to him. That's all I know about this one. This one is a hockey college romance and he's the son of a US congressman. She sounds like she um, has a very rough life. She's working two jobs, going to college. She had a music career that kind of tanked and she volunteers at homeless shelters and they sound like completely different sides of the track but they're gonna have a romance. I started this um, during the used bookathon because I got this from Half Price Books but I made it to page four. So I'll read both of these. I'm also in the middle of listening to All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. It is a reread but I read it really really fast at a polycon last year because my friend Sarah had an arc so I just like devoured it in a day and a half. So that one I don't know technically counts for the readathon because it's not like super heavy on the romance but it kind of is. It deals, it's more of like a liter not literary fiction, it's more of like women's fiction kind of but because of the flashbacks it flashes back to the past and the present of this couple dealing with infertility. So it's the present where they're kind of falling apart, their marriage because of their infertility and in the past when they first fell in love and got married. So I'm gonna count it for this readathon just because it definitely is romance, even though it's more than the romance, so I just don't want to stop listening to it. I was going to start a Rachel Van Dyken audiobook, but I started it and I hate the narrator, so I'm not going to continue that. So I'll just finish All Your Perfects. I do have like three hours left, so about one and a half on double time speed. So I'll probably finish that today. And that's all I have. So I have four books I'm currently going to be reading. We'll see how far I get. I'll read during commercials, during the football game, during halftime, and then tonight. So yeah. I'll catch up with you guys later today. Hey guys, it is uh, a little after 5.30. I just got home, oh, it's six actually now. Um, I just ate dinner and I got home from my parents around like 4.30, had to like clean out our gutters and everything, homeowner issues. But I finished this today while watching the game. It was a pretty slow game. <sighs> Won't even talk about it. But this one, I'm giving two stars. I'm kind of annoyed. It started out pretty good, but then it got super insta-lovey, very soap opera-y at the end. The dialogue was very cringy, like just the writing I was just not a fan of. So I gave it two stars. I feel like they told you, they told each other I love you way too early and there was no like connection between them I felt like and I wasn't connected to them. So I honestly couldn't care less what happened in this book, so I gave this two stars. I'll be reading the Carly Phillips one after I sew. I had to pick up wood so I feel like I have splinters in my hands but um, I need to sew a lot for my shop because my restock tomorrow so I a lot of people posted their wrap up so I'm gonna watch that while I sew and then I'll probably listen to more of my audio. I don't have too much time left. I think it's an hour and a half left now so that's like 45 minutes of listening so I can probably get that done. I did want to show you the Funko Pop I got. It's Steve from Stranger Things. This is him from season three where he's working at that ice cream shop and he is the cutest ever. He is my favorite character from the show and I'm obsessed with him and so I had to get this when I was buying something else off Amazon because I couldn't resist. So he's gonna go on my shelves and I love him. But that's what I'm doing so not too much to update you on. Kind of like annoying that this wasn't good but oh well what are you gonna do? And I have like 40 pages left of Good Gone Bad, so I'm probably finish that as well. And I'll update you guys later today. Alright guys, it is um, 
50. I just finished sewing for the day. Excuse my gross nails. I need to repaint them. Um, I'm joining little Miss Darcy on the couch. She's the cutest ever. And I finished my audio. Almost cried. Ugh, All Your Perfects is just a very emotional book. Um, five out of five. Still, I really love it. And now I'm going to start my next read. And this one is 150 pages. And I'm seeing Carly Phillips at that signing, so I really want to read her book. Um, my little Darcy. Hi. Oh, my baby. Lily's over there. There's Lily. Hi, Lily, baby. Oh, is she going to come to me? Is she going to come cuddle? She will. Do your dogs do that? She is so funny. I'm going to read. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, guys. I'm here to close out this vlog. I... It's hard to do a 24-hour readathon when you have a lot to do. Typically when I do them, I literally don't leave the house except for to go to the gym. So I was gone for a lot of the day yesterday and then I did start this and then of course I went up to bed to read more and fell asleep after like 10 pages. So I only made it 30 pages into this but I really like it so far so I have high hopes. Our main character actually breaks up with her boyfriend in the beginning and he has control of all their money and they have a joint account and so she leaves with like $500 and the clothes on her back and her car and he calls it in as missing because he, I think the car's in his name even though it's her car and so she is arrested for Grand Theft Auto when it's her own car but her boyfriend was trying to like get her back and control her and so at the police station she runs into the cop's brother. I don't remember if he's a cop too but like it's the brother that brought her in and was like questioning her and he comes in and is like oh I'll take her home and like make sure she has a place to stay. Oh, he's not a cop because he works in finance and he worked with her boyfriend. And so she's over at his house right now and that's where this is so far. And so I really like it. And he like bought her the new Nora Roberts book and it was really cute. When she woke up, it was like sitting there because you know she likes to read. And so, yeah. I like it so far. We'll see how it goes. I read Off Size with Sorry Bennett, didn't like it, but that's okay. And then I finished two other things. I finished my audiobook of All Your Perfects. Loved it. Still so good, five out of five stars. And then I finished Good Got Bad because I had like 40 pages left of that. So I finished three things and started another one even though I only completely read one thing. So I'd say that's a success. So let me know if you guys participated, what you read. And yeah, I can't wait until that readathon's a full week again because I do so much better when I have a week to read. But yeah, that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.